think I have some talking to do. Oop. Lots of things. What is your opinion of Albert He's as terrible. a student of botany? <clears throat> He's useless. I often tell him so, and I can only give him cleaning tasks. Botany is not his life's work, and his father well knew it. He was furious about it. He was? Oh, yes. He forced his son to work here, and he never missed an opportunity to criticize him publicly. Are you able to elaborate on that? Well, for example, with our last exhibition here, Mr. Dunn had Albert make a presentation speech. But then, while the lad was speaking, Mr. Dunn interrupted him, asking him difficult questions, making him look like a failure. It was with the intention of making a fool of him, Mr. Holmes. That must have been terribly humiliating. Yes, he was crushed, and he had to leave. Everybody was making fun of poor Albert. That is, except for Miss Margaret White, who is such a nice lady and who always takes pity on Albert. You mentioned a Miss White. Would you tell us more about her? She is a student who works here part-time. She is quite charming indeed. She possesses a great talent for botany. You should take a look at some of her experiments that she carried out in the laboratory. <laughs> ah, if only she were not so naive. Why naive? The way she used to flutter around Mr. Montague Dunn. And he... why, he couldn't help but be flattered by all her attention. How could an intelligent woman such as Miss White not see through his game? I can only scratch my head and wonder. Mr. Hamish, was someone from your family connected with Kew Gardens? Family? No. I'm the only one with a passion for uh. botany. I do not think so. This photograph of you and your father at Kew Gardens suggests the opposite. Ah, but you have no right to. Do tell us yeah, more man. about your father. He was, indeed, the greatest botanist of his time in the British Empire. He worked together with Montague Dunn until the end of his life. He brought me in at the age of 12. Did he get on well with Mr. Dunn? No, oh, I couldn't say that. They expanded Kew Gardens together, that was all. And it was all my father's work, but Dunn always lived the high life. So Mr. Dunn was not helping your father? Oh, yes. He provided the financial support. And as far as he was concerned, that fulfilled his role. But the worst of it was, he declared himself as the master of Kew Gardens. Fame meant nothing to my father. So it was easy for Mr. Dunn to take all the credit. Then you got to sit there and do the same. Are you aware of the Divine Syndicate? The divine what? Nope, is this got a, a bunch joke? Of, uh, things there. No, I am quite serious. What a ridiculous name. Anyway, I have never heard of this mm. syndicate. There is a bust of Montague Dunn in the nursery. A bust? Oh, that old thing. Further proof of that outrageous ego of his. But why in that room in particular? Oh, I, I don't know. That's a lie. It has always been there. Uh, no, no. It is strange, because I recovered a fragment of the bust inside the colonial collection room. Really? Oh, well, so I am mistaken. It ought to have been removed during the cleanup. This room is so small. Hmm. Do you know who moved it? I have no idea. Surely Mr. Dunn requested it. Do you have any more questions like this? Because fragments of rock are not my responsibility. Evidently. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. Oh, we shall continue our investigation. Uh... Hamish had a motive. He believed that he and his father lived lives had been ruined by Dunn, who had taken the credit for all of their work. Hamish wished to take over the director of Kew Gardens, but he knew that it would not be possible.
sorry. Were there more? Mm. I need more information. still be here. I'm glad he's not still on that ladder. I perceive that you are passionate about the Royal Navy. Passionate? No, not really. I like mm. ships, that is all. Are you quite sure? You do not seem to be so interested in plants. It's difficult, that's all. My future is here. It has never been about anything else. And yet, I know that the Royal Naval College rejected your application. Ah, oh, you truly are as clever as they say. Yes, that's correct. And in fact, my father was strongly against the idea. He did his best Not to ruin really. my plans, although I almost did succeed. But my dreams were shattered, Mr. Holmes. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Divine Syndicate? No, I cannot say that I have. Uh. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Says we got something new here. It's weird that these are all just straight plot points. It's unusual for Holmes. Ah, Toby. Let's run over to the seed garden place. The Divine Syndicate. Does that name mean anything to you, by any chance? Not at all. But it is a very pretty name. The hell? Uh, thank you, miss. What was that? Mr. Montague Dunn. It is so awful. Okay. So apparently I have to do that. And go to the archives. 1889. Okay. Adventure? I don't know. Here it is. And here is the Divine uh -huh. Syndicate's address. Perfect. It is time to find out what they have against Montague Dunn.
Let us determine just what we have found here. Let us pour liquid from the bottle into a test tube to perform an analysis. a colorless, water-based liquid. Quite a strong floral aroma. Holmes? Why? What are you doing? It has a bitter taste. What if it's poisonous? Did you ever see poison stored in enormous jars like that? Huh? Anyway, there is a doctor nearby. So, what do you think it is? It is some kind of organic compound. Let us vaporize the liquid and see what happens. Ooh. Small colorless crystals. Colorless, tiny crystals that are soluble in water, with a floral smell and a bitter taste. Watson, could you pass me that small bottle, please? Of course. Here you are. Uh, Holmes, do you know what it is? Wagner's reagent. There was a label on the bottle that you passed to me. No, Holmes, I meant the bottle that we found. Let me add the reagent and see if there is any sediment, and then I shall tell you. I need to take a pipette and make several drops of the reagent. Red sediment, what just as mean? I suspected. This liquid is of organic origin. It contains some alkaloid. Most likely it is unstable, and that is why there is a quantity of gold dust to prevent contamination. Hmm. This mixture is probably a fertilizer. Someone was carrying out unusual experiments in the garden's laboratory. is beautiful, Holmes. Its atmosphere is remarkably soothing. Let us find someone who could help us. Guy? Good day to you, sir. My name is Shul. I am exalting the sun. A while can you wait? From the trace of elements and, moreover, from the quality of the ambient geotropism, it depends. Therefore, please, mind my gravitropism. Its balance. Do not disturb. Disturbed is most definitely the word. There. Completed is the symbiosis. Welcome you are. To introduce myself, I shall. I am the Green Grand Mystic. The... the Green Grand Mystic? Himself? This is me. Who am I speaking to? We are two gentlemen who are extremely interested in the uh, vegetation philosophy that is advocated by this establishment. Listening to you, I am. Right. Ooh. 
We should like to take a look around, to immerse ourselves in the wisdom that emanates from here. Hmm. It is a school of anastomosis, the divine scholastic syndicate for vegetation veneration and meditation. And you may say, the divine syndicate, glory to the eukaryotic. Only true devotees, those whose hearts are ready to spermatophize in sharing of knowledge, are permitted to physically enter our vegetable kingdom and its wisdom. And to be permitted, you must earn it. Yes. Hmm. We visited Kew Gardens, and we found your symbols on their flower pot. Coincidence, I am thinking. They would scavenge our refuse. It would not surprise me. It was merely an observation. Green Grand Mystic. We are ready to become devotees and gain access to your temple. What is the name of our Lord, our God uh. King? Our God King's name is Triwa, Green Grand Mystic. Allah, oh, good. Good, I like you. Here is, is the it? holy key to the wisdom place. Holy donation, can you make one of you so wish? Thank you so much. I pray you to taste our fertilizer substance. From the burdens of life, it helps to free. Uh, but of course. Raw sap, it is called. It is near the entrance. Well, we will leave you to your meditation. That's the final person I meet in this. Hmm. Garden's symbol. table <laughs> well named that should be the raw sap that the green grand mystic spoke of Holmes hmm it is rather delicious and of an excellent quality my word Holmes their sap is like Correct. a form of cocaine apparently delicious cocaine You came to make a donation? Glory to Tree One! It's a tree man. This must be Tree One, the Divine Syndicate's god. Cool. Some more drugs happening around here, pretty sure. This door is locked, but I can try to open it. Another one! Hey, hey, calm down.
did it! Getting better at those. Slowly but surely. These instruments are used for smoking opium. Lots of chemistry. This substance is an alkaloid, the same as in the bottle we found in the bushes at Kew Gardens. This cabinet is full of chemicals. They are the same as the ones we found in the laboratory at Kew Gardens. Mm. That would be enough to perform the most difficult of chemical experiments. Right A vast amount of opium. Drug den. Uh. <sighs> All right, maybe I can talk to him. Have friends at Kew Gardens? None. Not were they oh. there? <clears throat> oh shit! Huh. Do you have friends at Kew Gardens? None. Not were they there? Nevertheless, we have seen Kew Gardens flower pots in your yard. How could they happen to be there? What? Our sacred place you permitted yourself to search. Sacrilege. No, oh, really now. There was a theft of plants at Kew Gardens a matter of days ago. And we believe the pots we found here may be connected with it. Please tell us, were you involved? No. Those plants were ours. They had stolen them from us. How so? Uh, their director. Dump, I believe. Done. Yes, that's, that's what I said. He borrowed from us three of our sisters for the exhibition at his green fly infested gardens. But he never gave them back to us. Excuses and imbecility. So we went in and saved them. I see. So if you stole those rare plants from them, then it means... Ah, I get it. Bravo, Holmes. I think the case is solved. No, we did not steal. We saved. Well, as a matter of fact, we were unable to find our three plants. I beg your pardon. And yet, you took all of the exotic plants from the stand. They had disappeared. It was the least we could do. They stole our sisters, and so we stole theirs. Well, we will leave you to your net.
caterpillars. They are raised as food for certain plants. Let's take them. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. 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 These three plants are identical to the ones shown at the exhibition. Mm -hmm. I shall take them. That's three out of, I don't know, six or seven. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. A tropical plant. Nothing of interest. Hmm. Oh good, we're gonna poison some Caterpillars. Perfect, Watson. We can begin our experiment. <sighs> oh, 